Hello, welcome to Let This Same Video Channel. What will be there about the sea? Annually, at least 2.5 million metric tons of the global tuna catch is destined, the majority of which is caught by purse seine vessels. Given canned tuna is a price competitive and nutritional source of protein, overall demand has increased markedly over the past three decades and remains strong. To match this growing demand, the smoked tuna fishing industry has experienced massive growth in terms of vessel numbers, vessel catching capacities and total catch. The level of complexity of the smoked tuna fishing industry has also deepened due to factors such as resource sustainability issues, stricter regulatory requirements, increasing operating costs. Globally, there are currently at around 580 industrial scale tuna purse seine PS, vessels in operation in four major ocean regions, Western and Central Pacific, 260, Eastern Pacific Ocean, 230, Indian Ocean, 50, and Atlantic Ocean, 40. Total capital investment in purse seine fishing vessels is in the order of 5.8 billion US dollars. The Japanese Purse Seine JPPS, fleet is stable in terms of vessel numbers and catch volumes. The fleet has been comprised of 35 vessels since 1997 and annual catch volumes consistently exceed 200,000 Mount Japan Fisheries Agency regulation limiting PS vessel size to 1,096 GRT has been relaxed, enabling three companies to trial three new larger vessels, 1,800 GRT, with helicopters. The majority of the JPPS fleet catches sold to Katsuo Hiroshi processors, 60%, 20% to low and sashimi markets, ULT portion of catch, 10% to Japanese tuna canners, 10% to Thailand tuna canners. In response to PNA countries' calls for greater domestic investment from DWFN, several fishing companies have established joint venture PS fishing operations in PNG, FSM and Kiribati.
hot sealed roll sheet, sometimes called the needle flakes, is said to simultaneously be both the world's hardest and thinnest food. This preserved food finds its traditions in Japan. Made by heating and then drying skipjack tuna meat, Katsuonis pelonis, or Katsuo in Japanese, Katsuo bushi is as hard as its wood like appearance would suggest. When shaved, however, its flakes, called Kazuri Bushi, comes out thin enough to see through, dancing with a slight breeze or heat. The subtle yet profound flavor extracted from these shaved flakes shape the very foundations of Japanese food culture. Kazuri Bushi begets dashi soup stock, the base of so much Japanese cuisine, and can be adapted to all kinds of dishes. The catch of skipjack tuna is flash frozen on ship and transported to the plant. At the plant, the skipjack tuna is judged for its size, quality, and marbling as it thaws before being passed through the steps of cutting, basket placement, stewing, boiling, deboning, and smoking and drying to produce a completed block called an arabushi. Once the surface is shaved, the arabushi is called a hadakabushi. The hadakabushi is given at least two coats of mold and dried to form karabushi. The highest grade of katsuabushi is honkerbushi, which is karabushi passed four to five times through the mold and dry process. As evidenced by large quantities of skipjack tuna bones excavated from the Ohora shell mound along the Pacific Ocean in Iwate Prefecture's Ofunato, the Japanese have been eating the fish since the late Jomon period, 4000 BC. The word katao, an earlier form of Katsuobushi's namesake, appears in the Kojiki, Japan's oldest historic text, dating back to 712 CE according to the Ryo no Shige, the annotated version of the Civil Code Euro Code that was enacted in 757, Nikotawa, boiled skipjack tuna, is listed as one option of alternate payment for taxes. 
This Nikatawa is the progenitor product of the process of preserving fish after being dried in the shade and is said to be the origin of katsuobushi. Treasured for its high nutritional value, samurai, warriors of pre-modern Japan, in the Muromachi period, circa 1338 to 1573, were said to have carried around katsuobushi in times of war to chew as means of staving off hunger. Invention of the modern katsuobushi recipe of smoking, then drying to remove the water content is credited to Kadoya Jintaro, a fisherman in the late 17th century hailing from Anami in the Kishu region. The recipe was introduced to the Tosa domain, where it was held as a Tosa secret for many years however, it was spread to Kago in the Satsuma region, now the city of Makurazaki, in the early 1700s by a fisherman named Mori Yahe and to the Awa and Izu regions in the late 18th century by a Katsuobushi craftsman known as Yoichi. Today, Katsuobushi has grown into a staple food to all Japanese. Dot. Karabushi has a sweet and refined taste and produces a more transparent, mild soup stock than harabushi. The entire manufacturing process takes about 20 days for harabushi, 2 to 3 months for karabushi, or 6 months for honkerbushi. Katsuobushi underpins Japanese dashi stock, the base of so many Japanese dishes, including soups, noodles, and stews. Processing into katsuobushi roughly triples the protein content of skipjack tuna. Making dashi from katsuobushi adds umami for more flavor with less salt. As such, katsuobushi is used to make a multitude of processed foods today, including seasonings, mentsuyu, noodle soup base, furikake, rice seasoning, and more. One appeal of katsuobushi is its versatility. It goes with so many dishes depending on how it's shaved. From the war-stricken Senbuko period, 1467 to 1478, Katsuobushi doubled as lucky talismans, taking the word as a homonym for winning warrior. Even today, it is sometimes used as an engagement gift or parting gift for wedding receptions. In this case, the homonym is written with the kanji characters for married couple. With the perfect union of the belly, mabushi, or female cut, and back loin cuts, abushi, or male cut, katsuobushi is meant to symbolize a happy Dried bonito flakes, known as KATSUOBUSHI in Japanese, are flakes of dried, smoked bonito, Katsuonis pelamis, also referred to as skipjack tuna. The process of making dried bonito flakes generally begins by soaking fillets of bonito in boiling water to soften the fish and cook through the flesh. The boiled pieces of fish are then wood smoked for some days until they have an extremely hard texture. They may then be further dried in the sun or drying room. The entire process may be repeated multiple times to ensure a texture which is as hard as possible, resembling hardwood. With water content around 10%, dried bonito can be said to be one of the driest foods in the world. These hardened pieces of fish are then sliced to make flakes, similar to the texture of wood shavings. They have a very pleasant, mild, fishy flavor and aroma with a light smoky taste and slight salt enhancement. When dried bonito flakes are combined with steam, they may quickly move around. 
This tends to occur most often when they are sprinkled onto soups or other hot plates. Due to this sudden movement, dried bonito flakes are also commonly referred to as dancing fish flakes. Extremely tasty and brilliant even as a simple topping on rice, dried bonito flakes are actually used to flavor and give a distinctive savor to a variety of authentic Japanese dishes. From miso soups, stocks, broths and noodle bowls, to simple tofu, soybean curd, plates, natto, fermented soybeans, fried rice, okonomiyaki, Japanese-style pancake, takoyaki, grilled octopus balls, yakisoba, fried noodles, salads and stuffing for onigiri, rice balls. Actually they are used in so many dishes that it would be impossible to name them all. Dried bonito is known for being a low-fat and high-nutritious food, source of iron, potassium, tryptophan, amino acid histidine, inosinic acid, niacin, vitamins, A, B group, and D. It is wheat and gluten-free and also a high source of proteins. Dried bonito flakes are certainly a healthy choice to your meal. Maruke dried bonito flakes are made from premium quality bonito fillets and to keep them as natural and organic as possible, no artificial coloring agents, chemicals or preservatives are used in any stage of their production. One of the biggest secrets of the Japanese cuisine, dried bonito flakes will add another dimension to your everyday cooking.